halfway fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Rafael Alamedia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Justin the Diamond Poirier. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go, early round action here. Rafael Pazid has been a bonus machine since he signed with the UFC. A lot of people felt like he was destined for future greatness at 155 pounds, has fought a great strength of schedule, and that theme continues here tonight in this matchup. Right hand connects. Doing work with the jab there. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Oh, head kick lands on. Yep. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Big left hand there. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight. And all driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's pawing at you with the right jab, and then boom, he drops that right hand. You have seen him put some of the best fighters in the world on their back with that straight left hand. Good to see that Dustin Poirier is landing it early in this fight tonight. Nice punch back over the top. Big shot to the head. Dustin Poirier. The power of Poirier. I mean, the guy hits so hard. The Z's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Superman punch lands. Just over three minutes to go now. Right hook to the head block. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Vazib's eye starting to swell now. Showing no signs of slowing down. 41 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Boy. Oh! oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Two minutes to go here in round one. Bazid gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Straight right hand, no good. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He has it. You don't really stand after you take a hit. He's hurt bad. Fazeev's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. All right, well, good news is... Nice jab there. Here's the kick blocked by Justin Poirier. Nice straight punch there. Check, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. 
Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like the strike should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just missed with the leg kick. Poirier gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Oh, big right hand, yes. Looking to land the right just out of range. That punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another Fourth we go. Huge left hand. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Oh. Oh. Just out of the range with that right hand. So the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this strike for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And some separation. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. shot that will finish the fight. Oh my goodness! Well, we've got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the move... Poirier's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Fazeev's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Front kick to the body by Poirier. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter and you put in the work and it all comes together. 
it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Whiffs on the right hand. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice knee to the body there. And back to his feet. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing stretch. Every stretch. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Lands a nice one, too. Final seconds here of round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. So what a round it was. One guy gets knocked down, then the other fighter answers. I think both of them are going to enjoy this 60-second breather on the stool. Anything you can do, I can do better. And that's exactly what we saw in the previous round. One guy gets knocked down, he gets up. Other guy gets knocked down, he gets up even better. You stagger when you're getting up, I'll stagger all the way across the octagon, but I will get myself back composed and be ready to fight you again. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Fuzzy. Making all these shots count. Nice transition. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, you right. need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Vazid's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. <laughs> Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Fazeev's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Down the stretch they come. We're going down to the wire. It has been all action all the time. I mean, two evenly matched fighters have laid it all out on the line. Let's see who can get the job done as we get to the end of the fight. And now he's inside control. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Poirier's back inside control. You need to find Aziz's out. face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. All right, so some high-level stuff. That, all right, so it looks as though now the referee will step in to look at the swelling on that eye as he calls for the doctor. Maybe he wanted to step in earlier, but now he had no choice. He had no choice. The swelling is so bad. He can't see. He's flailing at his opponent right now. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor...
to let the fight continue. Don't I, they? I, I love it. I love it when you let it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but. <laughs> So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything this oh. oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, huge left. Under two minutes to go in round three. Fazeev's now switching his stance. Bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Poirier's in half guard now. Lands the ground and pound strike. Nice positional control here. Shots here on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. In the half guard. He's right back to the full mount. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Judges' scorecards will be needed tonight as we go the full 15 minutes. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. All right, you just heard it there from Bruce Buffer. They go to the judges' scorecards, but it is unanimous. Dustin Poirier, your winner by decision. Poirier gets it done once again. The boy from Lafayette, Louisiana, getting his hand raised in the middle of the 